Why exactly are you learning English? Why do you want to speak English powerfully? Surprisingly, many people have only a vague idea. They know that English is the international language and that they feel that they should learn it. In school, they are told that English is important and some people are focused on only test scores. They are studying English in order to get high score on TOEFL, IELTS, Duolingo or other exam. So my question is, where did these goals come from? Typically, they come from the school system. In other words, they are external goals that are promoted by other people. Students are told that these goals are important and thus they spend years focusing on test scores. But the problem is that external goals, the goals are provided by the outside people, they feel like work. These goals feel like an obligation. These goals are weak and uninspiring. And that's a problem because goals are our brain's targeting system. Goals tell our, tell our brains what we want, when we want, and why we want. A powerful goal energizes, inspires, and motivates us to do more and be more. A great goal can totally change your life. But weak goals, on the other hand, produce weak results. Another step in developing my listening first approach like is is therefore is develop a strong goals you remember i've talked about the psychology more but what's what, what makes a strong goal a strong goal is one that creates a positive obsession in your mind a strong goal is emotional a strong goal not only motivates you it seems to pull you towards action and success a great goal is like a positive addiction the goal keeps you focused on what is important in your life you cannot forget about it. In fact, with a truly powerful goal, you will find it difficult to stop thinking about it. And this goal guides you and motivates you even through difficult times. So to be powerful, a goal must be intensely emotional in a positive way. And this is why test score goals are so weak. Who gets excited and inspired by tests? In fact, for most people, uh, you know, tests are negative experience that produce feelings of nervousness, fear, and stress. And of course, that's not very energizing or inspiring. And no wonder so many people feel bad about English. So how do you find and create truly powerful goals? Very simple. Just begin by asking yourself power questions. These are questions that help you find your deeper reason for speaking English. As you go deeper, you will find more inspiring goals. And the best public question of all, you know, of all of this is simply why. Repeatedly asking why is an easy way to find your deepest purpose for English. For example, you might first ask yourself, why am I learning English? Maybe your first answer is to get high IELTS score. But that's a weak external goal. So you Ask yourself again, why do I want a high IELTS score? Maybe you answer, to get a better job. Again, you ask, why do I want a better job? Now you are going deeper, finding your true purpose. Maybe you answer, to make more money for my family. And then ask, why do I want to make more money for my family? And you might answer, because I love them. And I want to provide an abundant and a wonderful life for them. So now you have found your biggest and internal goal. So your big, your big goal is not to get a high IELTS score. Your true goal is to create a wonderful life for your family. And English is a tool to help you with that goal. Isn't that more powerful and emotional? Doesn't that excite and inspire you more? Doesn't that create much more fuel for your engine? Such a power of big and meaningful goals. So, why do you want to learn English? What is the most exciting outcome that you can imagine speaking English will bring you? What truly inspires you about learning English? Think about it. Think deeper. Dream bigger. And do yourself a favor. Choose big, audacious, powerful goals for learning English. I ensure you, it will ignite 
your passion.